Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and it's the most wonderful time of the year because it's the time that I get to ask you all of your biggest demands for The Sims 4, the future of the game in the year of 2024. Now, I genuinely could not have called 2023. I did actually go back and watch last year's videos, and a fair few of your requests actually made it into the game this year. For example, we had residential rentals. We also got baby shower and I knew people were wanting kind of a pregnancy update and a mix of the realistic birth mod actually within the game. I have to say though most of you this year have wished death upon The Sims 4 but not in the way that I was expecting you to wish death upon this game. <laughs> hobbies, 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 hobbies. See this is how I know you lot watch my channel because I feel on my wish list every year for The Sims 4 is just more hobbies in general. When it comes to that game some of my very favorite packs are the ones that have introduced more hobbies. It's why I absolutely adore eco lifestyle, it's why I absolutely adore cottage living, but it seems like the majority of you are also hopping on my little bandwagon. I say yeehaw! Yeah, I might not be a fan of horse ranch, but I want to be racing towards more hobbies this year. I think it's just time that we got a Sims 2 free time in The Sims 4. Also, I'm always going to want more stuff for the kids that's not drawing tables. At any given opportunity, I will make a joke about how kids can only use the drawing tables. Yes, they have the experimentation table. It doesn't really do much other than change up their needs and they have play areas. Apart from that, it really doesn't feel like kids still have all that much to do. Yes, we got hopscotch this year. We got a marbles collection, which I for one was very, very thankful for. I feel like when it comes to kids and collections, that is such like a kid need. Like, oh my word, I'm currently obsessed with collecting those little uh surprise bag of Sylvanian families. Every time they introduce a theme that I know I'm gonna vibe with, for example, the little sea creatures, and there was a little crab in there, I was all over it. I was going into Smith's toy store. I was feeling all those bags. I did use hand sanitizer afterwards because I still don't trust. And I managed to pull every single one that I wanted. I think just more for kids to do in general is such a need. However, I don't want kids to have to have their own dedicated packs, as in for rent. Yes, those weren't like game changing things that were introduced for children, but it just offered more for them to do. On that subject, I would love things for kids to do either as groups or with other Sims. Obviously at marbles, they can play against other kids. They can play for keeps, even if it is currently broken right now. They can also play hopscotch with other people. They can't really play tag. They can throw snowballs and have water balloon fights. Hide and seek. There's so many options for like childhood games. I just wish kids could interact more with other kids or teenagers, because I feel like teenagers are left out quite a lot. She was a fairy. I feel like fairies have gone up in popularity so, so much. I don't know if this is because with the release with Growing Together, we did see a couple of like iconography pieces that were hinting towards fairies. I don't actually know if they were hints, but we had a little mushroom house. We had drawings of little fairies and mushroom houses. And I know kids draw fairies a lot, but for this, Sims team to draw horses and then we get a horse pack this year and then also draw like loads of fairies but we've yet to see a dedicated fairy pack. Also we haven't had a game pack since werewolves. I know that would be two occults like back to back. I honestly think that the Sims 4 could do fairies really really well. So I am on board the fairy train. I would love them. I think if they do them as in depth as they have done werewolves for example they could be great. What I don't want to see is another version version of spellcasters where basically everything is a cheat. I've seen people say they would love Seelie and unseely courts when it comes to fairies, more so acting on that like, you know, mischievous cheeky side and then going into like the darkness and the evil, which I personally would all be for. Also, am I just saying this because I really want an actual big arboretums and greenhouses. We got a decorative one in Realm of Magic. We also got a decorative one in Growing Together. Together. I just finally want a place where my sims can go and look at all the gorgeous plants. Let me hold on to any shred of dignity I have left of being a plant mum. I'm keeping my Monstera alive, okay? Well now, hasn't this been a hot topic of conversation when it comes to the sims recently? Worlds with more than 13 lots, a real cul-de-sac neighborhood. It really doesn't feel like we've got like proper little cul-de-sacs since base game. And I do struggle with that in the 
Sims 4 is that so many of the worlds have these really lovely, why did I have my eyes closed? I was imagining like the Sims 4 worlds in my brain, but so many of the worlds are decorative shells and the actual active lots feel so far apart from one another. So I completely understand wanting like proper cul-de-sac neighborhoods. I know people don't really want to see the Americanized suburbia. Sci-fi stuff, maybe retro futuristic. I will hold my hands up and say, I love a good sci-fi book, but I could not care less about it when it comes to The Sims 4. I am so sorry. Into the Future was like fun, but it felt a bit of a gimmick to me. Like it didn't really feel like it had longevity as a pack. But then on the other side, I do quite like this idea of like a vault or like fallout story driven type supernatural stuff. People have commented that they would love to see zombies. I personally thought in The Sims 3 Supernaturals, zombies were pretty lackluster. They didn't really do anything other than eat your plants. And I feel like people kind of gonna use death by mold and ghosts in that way. I think obviously that has the looks of what people want, but it doesn't have like the gameplay tied to it. I never really know what to have in mind when people say they would love a sort of zombie apocalypse expansion or pack. Just because I don't think my mind's ever gone there. I know that people do like apocalyptic challenges. I just personally don't think I would get a lot of use out of that as a pack, but I would love to hear your thoughts on that. This is actually what I mean by you lot calling death to the Sims 4. So many of you were requesting a funerals pack. I feel like this is the top trending thing in the Sims community right now. I don't know how, honestly. After the death of the pack that was my wedding stories, that felt like a funeral for the Sims 4 in itself. It somehow bounced back. Grim Reaper truly said, you gave me a death flower, so I'll give you a second chance. And then actually brought out some expansions that people really wanted. I want a funerals pack like yesterday. I could even add new deaths. The ability to have a funeral funeral event or a Shiva ceremony, maybe even add Grimm to the active career so you play it as the person escorting the Sims to the other side. Now this was actually offered in a community survey. They were asking if people wanted sort of a Grimm Reaper career. I have to say, I do think it would be cool. I do, however, think it would be kind of lackluster in the game. I don't know. I just love Grim Reaper and I kind of like the way that that currently happens in the, the game. So I don't personally know how I would feel or like how frequently I would actually use a career like that, but I definitely get wanting to have funerals. Again, we can kind of currently tell those stories, but this is the thing about The Sims 4, and I know that this was a massive discussion that was had on Twitter a few weeks ago now, where people were saying, just use your imagination and then you can get those circumstances, which like, yeah, true. Like there are plenty of funeral homes on the Gallery. If you have vampires, then you have coffins. But the thing is, the game doesn't back that up. I threw a funeral in my Growing Together Let's Play not that long ago. My own Sim hopped in the coffin with his dad because he was sad and he wanted to cry it out. Like, that is not a funeral. The game doesn't back that storytelling in any way. And unless you micromanage every little thing and you turn off free will, which is personally not how I enjoy playing the game, your imagination can only take you so far in the sense that the game is gonna somehow screw up those really nice moments, which yeah, sometimes it's fun. I had fun seeing that, but not everyone wants that. I don't want it to be like my wedding stories though. I think even if my wedding stories worked flawlessly and perfectly, I would still personally think it was a bad pack because I don't really like the micromanagey side of it. I also think the events, the extra events that came with it are absolutely useless. You can get the same feeling, if not better, with Get Together. And I've done a video about that. So I have physical proof. I'm bringing the receipts. That's the only thing that's holding me back from like 100% being like, I wish we had funerals because I'm scared it would turn out like a My Wedding Stories. I always wanted spiral staircases. I have a feeling we'll get that though in the medieval castle care. I don't think we will. I don't think kits offer that big of like a game changing thing. I know spiral staircases aren't a huge game changing opportunity. They are technically just another stair set, but I feel like the community would absolutely riot if we finally got spiral staircases and then they were like, fess up that five pounds pass, please. 
give me a cheeky little microtransaction for those stairs. They could potentially add it in a base game update before that kit drops. I also don't really feel like it fits with Medieval Castle, but then I guess the spires, like they do have spiral staircases. But I feel like all the art that we saw was very telling of the Medieval Castle, because I'm fairly sure they all had like square turrets and not actual rounded ones. Maybe they were just keeping their cards close to their chest, but we shall see. A zoo pack is always something I have seen simmers talk about and request, and I feel like it's one of those ideas that you have when someone asks you, what do you want as an expansion pack in The Sims that's never been done before? The easiest thing I feel to go to is like, oh, a zoo pack or a safari pack. I do not want it. We got the tiger sanctuary in for rent. And whilst yes, it's cute that you can adopt a tiger and they send you a plush and I fully support that. It was lackluster. And I don't know why people feel like a zoo pack isn't gonna be lackluster. This isn't like a planet coaster or a planet zoo type scenario where you get to customize all of these things and you get to like add the animals that you want and you want to build enclosures. That is not how a Sims pack is gonna work. Like you aren't gonna be in control of those zoos. Like I do think a zookeeper career could be cute, but apart from a zookeeper career, I'm just like, really? What are we expecting from an expansion pack like that? You have a Sim walk in, buy some food from a stall, click on glass to look at an animal and then walk off. To me, that is not enthralling gameplay and I have never wanted a zoo pack. I am firmly standing against a zoo pack. I'm sorry to those of you who want it. More stuff for elders, bingo nights, bird feeding. I'm fairly sure we actually have bird feeding in backyard stuff. Obviously we can with residential rentals now I kind of get the idea of a retirement home which I think is really really sweet. But yeah I would love that more social side for elders. Obviously I want what people want. I want the canes and the walking sticks. Not saying that they are only for elders. Any age can use a cane. Bingo nights I think would be absolutely adorable. I do feel like growing together kind of helped a little bit with like the puzzles and being able to play games. We obviously got the wise trait in for rent. I feel like they've been dropping little pieces for elders which makes me think that they could eventually introduce a pack that has a lot focused on elders. That is my hope anyway. I think dance classes could be super cute or aerobics classes. I was really hoping that the growing together community center would offer way more than it did. I would love rotational classes within that so that your elders who actually live with you in these multi-generational homes that we got in for rent could actually go to these community centers and you could all meet up with each other for those bingo nights or karaoke if you have city living. There's a lot of things I personally would have done with that lot. And again, it just felt flat for me this year, but it feels like they're building up momentum to give us something for elders. And I'm just like, please do it. Speaking of that, I would also love inheritance to be a lot better than it currently is in The Sims 4. Obviously we got that little box in growing together, which you can kind of pass down through generations. But I think you should be able to fight for inheritances. I think you should be able to give out specific things that you have in your house to specific like friends or family. And that would be sick for legacy players. Imagine the heir just getting everything. I mean, they technically do already, but imagine if the game supported that story. Gummy Bear came up with one that I hadn't really seen a lot of people talking about, but I personally also would love. I feel like if you have the privilege of downloading mods, then a lot of these annoying little snags that The Sims 4 has in its gameplay can be fixed with those, but just to help the overall flow of the game, things like a leave me alone option. You know when you're having a conversation and that little conversation bar comes up and then a random ass townie will come in whilst you're trying to flirt with someone whilst you're on a date and then everyone gets embarrassed because they're like why the hell are you here? Imagine just being able to click that person on the top of your screen and be like leave me alone please like I don't want you to be part of this conversation or like Gummy Bear said an option to let you opt out of socializing if they're working on something. If they're writing a book I don't want my sims to constantly think about family members or have a family member come up to them and like discuss things with them because then that makes the skill gain go up so slowly because they're just doing all these interactions before they're actually doing the one thing that I want them to focus on. I always say more options are better in any game and I will stand firmly by that. No international travel, so Sims stay in their home worlds. Hi, this is such a cool thing that again, I've never really thought of. More than anything, I wish we could get an update that allows us to choose which worlds are loaded in a save. We go a long way in clearing up the save blow and allow you to play with a pack with without having the world or sims. 
why has my tiny brain never ever thought that a system like that could be used? Sometimes I do just want to play with the stuff that actually came with the pack, but I don't live in the world that that pack came with. I do think maybe the reason that this isn't done is because it could be a very bug ridden thing. And I think they're probably like, oh, we already have too many bugs and glitches going on right now. Like I imagine updates could knock this out very, very frequently. So maybe potentially that is the reason, but I do think it's a very smart way of handling a lot of the like lag issues and stuff. Maybe, I don't know. I always say I'm not a game designer. I would love to see them do more with Neighborhood Stories. Seriously, can 2024 just be the year of justice for programs that we introduced in The Sims 4 and then never ever updated or looked back on or actually did anything with since they were released? Because I am sick of it. Sentiments still so lackluster in my game. Neighborhood Stories, I really like it. It does feel like the story is progressing. However, just like you, I would love it that that Sims would randomly marry each other or they would propose like out on the street or in a restaurant if I was going out to eat. I would add so many things to the story progression and I think it is just like you say, it's completely lackluster. It feels like it's a forgotten feature already even though it only came out like what, two years ago. I feel like this one kind of ties in a little bit to uh, feeling more like real life and having more everyday sort of gameplay. I want to feel the passage of time. As a generational player, it's upsetting that Generation Zero has phones, tech, and all that Generation 12 has. The exact same. If we could unlock tech as time goes by and have more old style interactive objects. And Sims 4 has a really, really weird mix of it. Like we don't have house phones. We don't have video cameras except the static video camera that sits above a desk like mine. Everyone has a mobile from the get go. Like why can't they give us these options? One, to just turn off the cell phones completely because I'm not gonna lie they do get annoying. Let me be as antisocial in my Sims 4 as I am in real life, okay? I just think this is such an interesting point and I've never really thought about it actually stemming back to like the fact that I have those issues within my game because I've never been a Simmer who's like, I really wanna go out and do the decades challenge. By the way, super popular challenge within the community. So many people have to download a bunch of custom content for it because that's just like not represented in the game. And I am also not a huge fan of those like 70s, 80s, 90s packs. I think, again, they're just a little bit of a gimmick and I don't think they ever come with gameplay. Yet. But if you could have like roller discos and you could have house phones and then you had like the build mode to kind of back it up, which sometimes we do get, this is just really smart. And I think this is actually something people would enjoy. Not even as like a full expansion, like a through the ages expansion. And maybe it's my Sims 2 nostalgia talking, but I miss going to vending machines and like buying a video game or buying a cell phone. I love this idea. This is once again a theme that I know a lot of people talked about last year. However, unfortunately we didn't get it throughout this year, but I need a West African, South African, or just an African themed world, preferably with more than 10 lots. And I wanted to bring this up as well because I got a really, really great comment last year on my video where someone was worried that if an African themed pack did come out, then it would just lump everyone together and have like the same celebrations, even though everyone doesn't celebrate the same way or dress the same way and I think that's something definitely to take note of. I feel like if they are to do this, which I do believe needs to be done, they need to take those things into account and try to represent as accurately as many people as possible. Or this just opens it up to more African themed worlds and therefore focusing on different areas of Africa whilst doing it. We just don't need another American suburbia. I so badly want a garage pack. Even if we can't have drivable cars, I want parking slots, usable garage doors, tool bench, garage gyms, cluttered garages. This is just bringing up my need to have one of those little pull-up stands that either clips onto the back of a door or is just like a two by one tile and it's small. I'm sick of using at-home gym equipment that looks like it belongs in a proper gym and is absolutely mahoosive. So many of the things in The Sims 4 are oversized. Give me a little pile of dumbbells so I can just like little work out here or there. I don't need to be lifting weights as if I am on the strongest man competition. I am a garage girly. If we ever get bands, I want to start as a little garage band. Yes. Honestly, maybe I'm a garage girly because I literally spent so much of my childhood in my garage. It was like at the side of my house. So it was a really nice little like lookout spot. Like me and my niece just used to put chairs 
stairs in there. My rabbit also had free reign of the garage because we just used to put a little fence up at the front so that he could see the whole wide world. I truly am a garage girly. Why am I not a mechanic? God. In 2024 be the year of high heels and lashes. I can't believe that this is going to be the 10th year of The Sims 4 and we're still here as a community being like, so there's realistic eyelashes or like something. Give us anything. Anything that gets rid of the heavy 2010 eyeliner look and high heels. I mean, they're bad. They're terrible. If you go into your creative right now and you sort by high heels, we should be ashamed as simmers. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I would just like it to be known. I actually saw this tweet and I just actually called this just yes. Everything else had its own little title of what it was referring to. This one, I was just like, yeah, all of it. Sign me up for all of it. Fairies, instruments. Yes, both of those I've talked about. Hoppy pack. More unnatural hair colors. So, so terrible. Again, just like the heels, Creator Sim just needs an overhaul in general. I truly think Creator Sim is being forgotten about, minus new assets to it. Unique pets. I miss going out being able to snatch a snake up in the wild and being like, you're coming home with me. Give me a snake so that I can call it Taylor Swift. I make the joke every single time I see a snake and I still can't grab them and take them home. Maybe we don't snatch them from the wild, okay? I mean, they didn't even allow us to have dog houses outside because they were like, that's a little bit mean on the dogs. And that was like, what, way back in like 2017? So I doubt they're gonna let us snatch them from their natural habitats anymore, but we could go to a pet shop and get them. Give me little spiders. Do you know how many of the the girlies are obsessed with jumping spiders because of TikTok. Let me have small pet birds. There's so many that I miss from The Sims 2 and 3. I'm including this one just because I would love to hear all of your ideas about this one because I feel like a superhero type pack is something that gets brought up like every so often and then I see like loads of people really, really down for it and then other people being like, but what would this add? And we did kind of get a superhero. I use that very, very lightly in The Sims 3 because I'm fairly sure it was just a stuff pack and I'm fairly sure it just introduced really creative sim stuff. Like I don't think you actually had any form of a superpower in The Sims 3. In The Sims 4, if you get struck by lightning like twice, you basically turn into storm and you can like direct lightning to places and your eyes start to glow. It looks sick. Ever since I saw that, I was like, ooh, actually maybe I am on board with a superhero pack but I don't really know what they would add. Like, I think it would have to be a story-based thing, kind of like Strangerville, because we already have spellcasters and vampires and they can run fast and they can teleport. I don't know. This is one that I would just love to hear people's feedback on because I really would love to know what people would want if you personally want a superhero pack because I think there's so many ways that they could go down. It's kind of one of those packs that my head kind of like on the same or as zombies, I can't really see so I don't know what people would want from it. Like, I don't know what you would want it to deliver. But thank you all so much for tuning in and also joining in this video. I hope I didn't judge any of your ideas too harshly or too critically, minus the zoo pack. <laughs> I feel so bad. I know there's probably so many animal lovers watching this being like, Molly hates animals. And I'm like, I don't. I'm actually a really big animal lover. It's just, that's not riveting gameplay to me, is it? If you have any other suggestions, if you desperately want to see some of the stuff that people talked about in this video, if there are other things that you would absolutely love to see, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear it all, the good, the bad. And here's to 2024. Not gonna lie, kind of hoping we go back to only having two expansions packs because your girlie is feeling burnt out. Also year of the game packs. I'm praying that we get at least one game pack in 2024. We already know that we're getting those two community voted kits. They are the medieval castle kit and also the goth creator sim kit which I'm super excited for the gothic one. And if you want to see what I personally want in the year of 2024 for the sims 4 or the 4s. Sam you're absolutely winning if you play the sims 4 and 4 is your lucky number. I feel like you're gonna have a good year. I'm gonna have a video up in a few days talking about my personal wish list. So definitely tune into that one. Let me know your thoughts and feelings over there as well. And I will speak to you all then. Bye now.